Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to solve problems in node analysis with the help of Kirchhoff's current law. This topic is present in the subject circuit analysis or circuit theory. Let us start solving the problem. Problem 1. Using node analysis, find the node voltages and the currents through all the resistors for the circuit shown below. This question is asked in an university November December 2014. This is the diagram. In this diagram, we have two current sources. One is 25 amps and the other is 20 amps. And we have a voltage source. Its value is 20 volts. Solution. In this diagram, we are having three node voltages. The node voltages are V1, V2 and V3. It is indicated in this diagram. As the node voltage V3 is directly connected to the base through the 20 volts source, its value is V3 is equal to 20 volts. Therefore, I5 is equal to V3 by 10. That's value is 20 by 10. It is equal to 2 amps. The direction of the flow of current is indicated in this diagram. Applying KCL at V1 and V2, we have, now consider the node V1. For that, KCL equation is 25 minus I1 minus I3 that is equal to 0. Consider this as equation 1. And consider node V2 that is I1 plus 20 minus I2 minus I4 that is equal to 0. Consider this is equation 2. Based on the diagram, we can determine the value of the current I1, I2, I3, I4. The current I1 is equal to V1 minus V2 by 10. And the current I3 is equal to V1 by 4. Current I2 is equal to V2 minus V3 by 1. And the current I4 value is equal to V2 by 2. This equation is obtained based on the diagram as well as the node. <laughs> so, substitute the values of the currents I1, I2, I3 and I4 in equations 1 and 2. Consider equation 1. The value of the equation 1 becomes 25 minus V1 minus V2 by 10 minus V1 by 4 that is equal to 0. If we simplify this equation means we obtain 0.35 V1 minus 0.1 V2 is equal to 0. Consider this is equation number 3. Now substitute the values of the current I1, I2, I3 and I4 in equation 2. So the equation 2 becomes V1 minus V2 by 10 plus 20 minus V2 minus 20 minus V2 by 2 is equal to 0. If we simplify this equation means we get minus 0.1 V1 plus 1.6 V2 is equal to 25. Solving equations 3 and 4, we obtain the value of V1 as 80 volts and the value of V2 is 30 volts. With the help of these two values, now we can easily determine the values of I1, I2, I3 and I4. That is, the value of I1 is equal to V1 minus V2 by 10 
the value of i3 is equal to v1 by 4 the value of i2 is equal to v2 minus v3 by 1 and the value of i4 is equal to v2 by 2 already we know the value of v3 as 20 volts that is the current i1 is equal to 5 amps current i2 is equal to 10 amps current i3 is equal to 20 amps and the current i4 is 15 amps now we solve problem 2 in node analysis using node analysis find the voltage v suffix x for the circuit shown below this question is asked in an university in November December 2015 the circuit is here solution the various node voltage and branch currents are shown in the figure below. Using Kijov's current law at node V suffix X, we have the current source 4 amps is entering to the node Vx the current source 2 amps is entering to the node Vx the currents I1, I2 and I3 are leaving from the node Vx therefore we have 4 plus 2 minus I1 minus I2 minus I3 is equal to 0 that is I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to 6 at the node V suffix 1 we have the current I1 is entering and the current source 4 amps is leaving. Similarly, the current I4 is leaving and I5 is leaving. Therefore, at node V1, the equation is I1 minus 4 minus I4 minus I5 is equal to 0. That is, I5 is equal to I1 minus I4 minus 4. Consider this as equation 1. At node V2, the current source 2 amps is leaving and the current I3 is entering. Similarly, I6 current is leaving, I5 current is entering. Therefore, the equation is minus 2 plus i3 minus 6 i6 plus i5 is equal to 0 that is i5 is equal to minus i3 plus i6 plus 2 is equal to 2 consider this is equation 2 v1 and v2 with 5 vx form supernode so the current i suffix phi cannot be obtained. Hence, equating equation 1 and 2, we get I1 minus I4 minus 4 is equal to minus I3 plus I6 plus 2. That is, I1 plus I3 minus I4 minus I6 is equal to 6. The expressions for the currents are now we determine the value of the current I1. The value is I1 is equal to Vx minus V1 by 2. Now we determine the value of the current I2. I2 is equal to Vx minus 0 divided by 4. Now we determine the value of the current I3. I3 is equal to Vx minus V2 divided by 2. We are going to determine the value of the current I4. I4 is equal to V1 minus 0 divided by 1. The value of the current I6 is equal to V2 minus 0 divided by 1. Using KCL equations, Vx minus V1 divided by 2 plus Vx divided by 4 plus Vx minus V2 divided by 2 that is equal to 6. That is 
1.25 Vx minus 0.5 V1 minus 0.5 V2 is equal to 6. Consider this is equation A. Vx minus V1 divided by 2 plus Vx minus V2 divided by 2 minus V1 minus V2 that is equal to 6. That is Vx minus 1.5 V1 minus 1.5 V2 is equal to 6. Consider this as equation B. While third equation can be obtained from the supernode region. As 5 Vx is opposing V1, we can write V1 minus 5 Vx minus V2 that is equal to 0. That is minus 5 Vx plus V1 minus V2 is equal to 0. Consider this as equation C. Now solving these equations A, B and C, we get the value of V suffix x is equal to 4.3636 volts. This is the answer. Now we start solving the problem 3 in node analysis. Solve the network given below by node voltage method. This question is asked in an university, May June 2015. The representation of the diagram is here. The various currents are shown in the figure below. In this diagram, we are having the currents I1, I2, I3, I4 and I5. The current I1 is leaving the node V1. Similarly, the current I2 is leaving the node V1. And the current I3 is also leaving the node V1. Now, consider the node V2. From the node V2, the current I3 is entering to the node V2 and the currents I4 and I5 are leaving the node V2. Consider the diagram here. In this problem, we have two nodes as V1 and V2. This is indicated in this diagram. Now consider the node V1. Applying KCL at node V1, we have at node V1, the currents I1, I2 and I3 are leaving. Therefore, I1 plus I2 plus I3, this is equal to 0. Consider this is equation 1. Now consider node V2. We are going to apply KCL at node V2. At node V2, the current I3 is entering, but the currents I4 and I5 are leaving the node. Therefore, I3 minus I4 minus I5 is equal to 0. Consider this as equation 2. Now, we are going to determine the individual currents. First, we are going to determine the current I1. I1 is leaving the node V1 and it is going to the resistance 2 ohms. Therefore, its value is I1 is equal to V1 by 2. Similarly, the current I2 is leaving the node V1. It is going to the resistance 5 ohms. And here we are having a voltage source 25 volts is there. Therefore, the value of I2 is V1 minus 25 divided by 5. The current I3 we are going to calculate. Here, the current I3 is connected to nodes V1 and V2. Therefore, its value is I3 is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by the 10 ohms resistance. And the current I4, I4 is leaving the node V2. So its value is V2 
divided by 4 ohms because the current I4 is passing to the resistance 4 ohms. Similarly, the current I5 is leaving the node V2 and it is passing to the resistance 2 ohms but for the current I5 we are having the other voltage source also 50 volts. So I5 is equal to V2 plus 50 divided by 2. Here we have indicated plus because the negative terminal is connected to the 2 ohms resistance. Therefore, the value of I5 is equal to V2 plus 50 divided by 2. Using that 25 volts source opposes voltage V1 to force I2 while 50 volts source helps V2 to force I5. Using the values of I1, I2, I3, I4 and I5 in equations 1 and 2, we have the equation 1 becomes because equation 1 is I1 plus I2 plus I3 that is equal to 0. Its value is V1 by 2 plus V1 minus 25 by 5 plus V1 minus V2 by 10 that is equal to 0. That is 0.8 V1 minus 0.1 V2 is equal to 0. Consider this is equation 3. Equation 2 becomes the equation 2 is I3 minus I4 minus I5 that is equal to 0. I3 value is V1 minus V2 by 10. I4 value is V2 by 4 and I5 value is V1 plus 50 by 2. So equation 2 becomes V1 minus V2 by 10 minus V2 by 4 minus V1 plus 50 by 2 that is equal to 0. That is 0.1 V1 minus 0.85 V2 that is equal to 25. Consider this is equation 4. 0.8 V1 minus 0.1 V2 that is equal to 0. This is equation 3. 0.1 V1 minus 0.85 V2 that is equal to 25. This is equation 4. Now solving equations 3 and 4 we get the value of V1 is equal to 2.6119 volts and the value of V2 is equal to minus 29.1044 volts. Thus, all current values can be obtained using V1 is equal to 2.6119 volts and V2 is equal to minus 29.1044 volts. That is, the current I1 is equal to V1 by 2. Substituting the value of V1 as 2.61, we get 2.61 by 2, that is 1.3 amps. Similarly, current I2 is equal to V1 minus 25 by 5. Its value is 2.61 minus 25 by 5. That is minus 4.48 amps. Current I3 is equal to V1 minus V2 by 10. That is 2.61 minus minus 29.10 divided by 10. If we simplify this means we get 3.137 amps. The value of current I4 is equal to V2 by 4. Substituting the value of V2 as minus 29.10 we get minus 29.10 by 4 that is minus 7.275 amps and the current I5 is equal to V2 plus 50 by 2 that is minus 29.10 plus 50 by 2 if we simplify this equation means 9.552 amps